Okay, what's up everybody? This is the Game Virus, also known as the G -G 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 Virus, and we are back with more Let's Play Resident Evil Remake HD Edition Knife Only <gasps> Unrehearsed. In the last episode, uh, we basically had our final encounter with Lisa Trevor where we totally let Barry die, you know, in hopes of getting the bad ending, so I'll only have to fight Tyrant once as opposed to twice. Because I think if you have survivors with you, i.e. Barry or Chris, you have to fight the tyrant a second time. So I think by letting Barry die, and I intend to not save Chris, that will allow me to skip the final, the second fight with tyrant and just be done with it. So I only have to endure fighting tyrant with the knife. Only careful now, I forgot I had explosive shit on me, I was about to swing that thing. Blow myself the fuck up. So in hopes of achieving that, now we have a bit of an issue here because I'm going to have to make it to the refueling station thing with the explosive canister I have on me right there. I'm going to have to make it over there without getting touched, swinging my knife, or running. Because should I do that, I will I will explode and die. That's why I saved right here. Now the problem is I have two enemies to worry about instead of one. A zombie and a chimera. Hopefully I'll be able to do this, but it's possible I might have to reload this a few times. So, get ready to see that death counter again, possibly. <sighs> Careful. Get a little bit of running there. You see, I could get away with a... See, now... There's <sighs> so much to say about that. I just did a lot of... I ran downstairs, for God's sakes. And I didn't die. But here, for some reason... Wow, smooth shit. Smooth shit, Jill. Ha <laughs> ha! Now, for those of you who follow my playthroughs more closely, you will remember that. I had my first death on my two playthroughs with Chris and Jill. I was trying not to die. On my Chris playthrough, I believe it was Chris, I did, I ran a bit, just like you saw there. Just like you saw there. It wasn't any more than that, but for some reason I died, though. I literally ran twice, and I didn't blow up. So I'm thinking it might be some percentage type thing, you know? Like you got a 65% chance of blowing up should you run for this amount of time. And I think I just... I just fucked up. I just had bad luck. Oh, shit! And yeah, this looks like this could be the final video, guys. Of my unrehearsed knife run of Let's Play Resident Evil Remake HD Remaster. Yep. No berry. Uh, I, I haven't, like I said in previous video, I haven't experienced the bad ending without Barry by my side, the, the encounter with Wesker and all that without Barry by my side. Haven't seen the ending without Chris just by myself. It's gonna be a real depressing ending, but it's for the sake of getting that CQC for the win trophy, you know? I don't want to put myself through any more than I have to, you know what I mean? There's no power to the main elevator. Start it up. We'll do it. And exit stage right. Uh, I love this game. It's not like I said last video. There's nothing like let's playing these classic Resident Evil games that I grew up with. And knowing I'll have an audience to enjoy them with me. Oh, nice try, buddy. All right, guys. This is pretty much it. This is looking. This is looking like it's gonna be the final video. My only deaths came. When trying to fight the prototype Crimson Head, which was expected, but I thought I'd die way more than that. Oh shit! <laughs> that guy lunged at me? Goodness. Scared the crap out of me. Thank goodness he missed. And zombies are gone. Good thing. Yep. So, if anything, I'll probably rack, rack up some deaths here. Let me go ahead and grab some health. You know what? Let me save. Fuck that. Let me not go into this boss fight unprepared. Let me get. Let me go ahead and get some health. Though I don't have much left. Pretty much all I need is. This is pretty much the last time I'll need a lot of health on me, so I'll pretty much just grab everything I got. Which isn't all that much, but it'll have to do. And, uh, yeah. So this will be my second biggest hurdle. I thought it would be the fight against Plant 42, but. 
we used VJOLT on it. I didn't know if I could, so I thought my biggest hurdles were gonna be um, the prototype Crimson Head and Plant 42 and the Tyrant. Because back then, I totally forgot that I'd have to fight the snake. I don't know how I forgot that. I just, it just totally slipped my mind. It's not something I accounted for. I just totally forgot that I'd have to do that shit. And once I remembered it, I was like, oh my god. But that fight proved to not be all that tough. Just time-consuming. So we'll go ahead and save. But, um... Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to over. I don't want to save over anything right here in case I might have to see if I have to go back and redo something. Although I'm not sure I can go far, far enough back to fix anything. But I'll just save over my most recent one, 13. I don't think anything wrong is going to happen with this. Let me make sure my equipment is recording properly. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and save over 13. The one I just did. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. If my shit gets corrupted, I'm fucked. If some type of unspeakable BS happens on my end on the computer, I won't be able to redo this part because I just saved over. I mean, I, I could still, but it will, uh, things will be changed up. I'll have to go to back to the my 12th save and do that fight against Lisa all over again and do a big chunk of it over again. Oh, I didn't want to put that there. All right, man, hopefully this is enough health for what? It probably might not be enough health. What if it's not enough health? Oh, boy. Mm, wrong way. There goes nothing. I'm definitely not gonna get it the first try. Tyrant never seemed like he took a lot of a beat, like he took much of a beating to take him out. It didn't seem like he required a lot of, a lot of damage to get put down. Six magnum rounds will do it, like three or four acid rounds will do it. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping he won't take as many slashes as the damn snake took. Goodness. Joe looks so lonely. Whisker. <laughs> this doesn't look right. Barry's a disappointment. It's too bad he wasn't much of a poker player. Hey, watch with that thing. You were behind all of this. <laughs> the mastermind himself. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. So having stars nosing about is an inconvenience. You're just like all the other things. A slave of Umbrella. <laughs> oh, oh, damn, he gave her a two-piece. I don't remember that. Smart girl, but I think you misunderstand me. Yeah, gave her a combo. The things you mentioned are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Jeez, the that last time I played this, connection. he just gave her one to the I'll chin. What? What are you planning? I want to show you something. Give her that two-piece combo. That, that, that Wesker combo. He's, he's in his early days of training for Marvel vs. Capcom 3 right there. You know? He, he knew someday he'd be fighting Ryu and all of them, so he'd have to put he'd have to put the whoopings on Wolverine. So he's been he's been practicing, you know. This is the early days. This is how it all started. My favorite tyrant. Well, actually, my second favorite tyrant. My favorite tyrant is from Zero. The ultimate life form, tyrant. You couldn't have been experimenting on people. What is going on with Jill's textures? It's beautiful. For the sake of this thing? You'll never understand. It's funny, you have to get the bad <sighs> ending to see Wesker get skewered and lifted. You know? I think if I have if I save Barry, that doesn't happen. Uh, here we go. I'll deal with you, freak. She didn't call him a viral cultured freak either. And hopefully the added movement I have now will help me uh I don't know what I'm gonna do here. 
yeah, this looks bad. This looks bad. Oof. Yeah, this looks bad. Does, 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 does the old method I utilized in my original Resident Evil playthrough of running to the left side or his right side or whichever side, the side that doesn't have the claw, will that work? Probably not. Let's see. All these camera angles are bad. It's not good. They're just not good angles for fighting this guy. Maybe if I go down here. No, none of them are good. Like I said before, unrehearsed, no help, no walkthroughs, none of that. Just so oh, you're just gonna figure, you're just gonna watch me figure this out live. Yeah, this is bad. This is not good. Can't just stand here and take that. Yeah. Can I just leave? Maybe I can just leave. Maybe I don't have to fight him at all. Let's see. I just release the lock. Uh, I gotta just release the lock and maybe I just release the lock and go. Maybe I don't have to fight him at all. Huh. Oh, see, nope, no time for that. Nope, can't release that shit. Nope. No, they won't let me. I gotta take him out. That's fucked up. Look, there's plenty of time to do that. They're messed up. Seems like there's moments where he pauses. I could probably... I could just keep behind him. Yeah, like, he pauses a lot. Oof. question is, how can I get him to keep doing that? How can I exploit that? What a pathetic way to die. He's holding something. Don't care. Yeah, I can bait him into a slash and then get the fuck out of there. Yep. I think I found a way to exploit him. Bait him into a slash and... Get the fuck out. Yeah, because he really does wind up a lot. I just gotta be better at it. Oh! Okay. I just need better camera angles. Yep. I definitely see a way I could exploit this. Just bait him into a slash. I probably could have hit him a few times there, too. Yeah, not too bad. Alright, come on, buddy. Come get some. This would be harder if I just had tank controls, though. I will admit that. Yeah, see, the joystick just allows me to get the F out of dodge really fast. I wonder if I can get two slashes on him after he swings. Ah, oh, shit! That was a quick hit. I don't like that. Oh. oh. Alright, I need to start being more uh, aggressive with the slashes. should have healed. Alright, well, at least we figured out a method. A method for going after him. Mm. I have no idea how far along I was. 
I don't know, I got the feeling like I might have been close, but I knew I should have healed. I figured she could take one more hit, but she couldn't. One more hit and she was gone. On orange caution, you can get dropped. That sucks. But he doesn't seem that hard. Definitely not as hard as the Crimson Head was, man. Ugh. Ugh. So that's just that's, that's one extra death on the death count. Here we go again. Let's retry. Hopefully, this will. Oh, hopefully, I just need one extra shot. Extra shot at him. Hopefully, this will get it done. All right, Jill, you ready for this? We've gotten all the data we needed. That first round was just data. That's just information on what we need to do, our plan of attack, our strategy, what we need to watch out for. That's all that was. Now, we gotta put it to use. Let's do this. No, he's not going for the swing. Oh, we can only hit him once. But if we get him when he's like just kind of standing there idly, we can get him several. Ooh. I think that's like a death blow he does there, but. Oh, bullshit. Oh, good, he's just standing there, see? Oh, no. He collected himself. Good stuff. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. <clears throat> oh, come on. I think, I think I'm just getting too close to him. Just the camera angles are so bad for this fight. Now I need to I need to swipe at him when he goes for the big swing, not for the uh, straight shot when he goes for the two the double swing. There we go. We need to make sure we swing on him. We don't get too close to him when we go for the poke. Mm. He's going for that straight shot a little bit too much. That puncture. Mm. Fuck. Yeah. It's just that this is just it's just another one of those instances where the fight it's just so boring and monotonous. Ah, damn it! It makes you want to take risks in hope of, in hopes of speeding things up a bit. Damn it! It's hard to tell the distance he is from you. Mm. Yeah, we don't have to be close at all to get that downward. I don't know what causes him to go for a one, go for one swing instead of two, but. Look at that, I don't know what causes him to go for that too. I guess he's just getting impatient. He's not the only one though. Just gotta be patient for this, that's all. <clears throat> oh, God damn it. 
<sighs> I might not have enough health to do this. I just gotta get like perfect. He just doesn't go for the the double slash enough. not have enough health. Uh, it might just come down to the point where I just can't be sloppy. Oh, how'd I miss? I just can't be sloppy at all, and that's asking too much for me. To just be perfect. Uh, see? I don't know when he's gonna do that shit. <sighs> see? Got him! Oh, fuck you, man! I thought for sure I didn't have enough in me to do it, but there we go, guys. Looks like that's gonna do it for Let's Play Resident Evil Remake HD Edition. Unrehearsed knife only. There's nothing left. If I did things correctly, and I hope I did, I think I know how this works. We won't have to fight this bastard again, and pretty much... All we got left is cinematics to sit back and enjoy, and hopefully we'll get a nice shiny... I think it's a gold trophy? It should be gold. It's probably silver. We'll get a nice shiny silver trophy entitled CQC for the win. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take your victory lap, Jill. Take your victory lap. Well deserved. <clears throat> Can't believe the hardest part of the playthrough was that crimson head, man. That's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Who would have guessed it? Man, that guy was a bastard, bastard. Uh, he was a problem. Yeah, this 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 lab is not gonna blow up. All right, guys, that's it. I mean, you know. Hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. We are done here. There's nothing left. Unless unless I have to fight him again. That would be disastrous. Because I don't have any health. And He's running around the second fight. Now, he doesn't just slowly stalk you. He chases you down. That would be fucking terrible. Oh. Oh, I gotta get past these morons real quick. The last, the last thing I need to happen is to die. Trying to get past these zombies. I'll be pissed. No, fuck that. We're out of here. No, you don't. Let me try it, asshole. Let me try it. We're done. We can sit down here and rot for all we care. Till the end of time. We're gonna be long gone. We're gonna be off of Raccoon City. We're gonna take a nice hot bubble bath. Order some Papa John's. And that's gonna be that. It's gonna be a wrap. You know, turn all the phones off. Chief Irons is going to be calling us, trying to find out just what the hell happened to his team, and I'm just not even going to pick up. So it's like a nice long bubble bath. Isn't that right, Jill? This is Brad. I'm running out of fuel. If there's anyone alive, contact me now or just give me a sign. I repeat, this is your last chance. Oh, we're gonna give you a sign, all right. Look at that. It feels weird not hearing a self-destruct countdown. I went the wrong way. It's just quiet. It feels like something is not right. This is definitely the less epic ending. Wait, where's that battery thing? Oh, it's right here. It was totally blended into the floor. I didn't even see it. I knew it was somewhere in here, but, you know. Alright, guys, this, this, this has been fun. This is 
rather a very uh, this is a quite quite what the hell is going on oh <laughs> okay look at how quiet and lonely it is no epic music playing in the background no 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 countdown timer no Barry and Chris talking about we'll handle it you go on ahead Chris like let me be the hero for a change or something none of that we're just unceremoniously leaving this bitch <laughs> But, to be honest, this is probably the biggest achievement, the most glorious end I could have ever asked for. Cause we just beat this bitch with the knife only for the first time in the history of our playing Resident Evil. Never done this before. The only game I ever beat Resident Evil knife only was Resident Evil 1. But here we go, guys. It's a wrap. Please, no boss fight. Please, no boss fight. No boss fight, guys. Just one last shot of Jill's ass. That big pillowy bubble butt of hers, and we're gone. I know I said I wouldn't talk about her ass anymore, but it's worth talking about. The celebration. The fact that, yeah, I don't remember seeing all this. A little spotlight on her and all that. So this is what you get if it's a bad ending, huh? Nice, not bad. It's pretty cool. Like I said, I rarely ever get the bad ending, if ever. I don't know if I've ever... Every woman for herself. What? Oh, that's one. Where's the CQC trophy? Oh my god, where's the CQC trophy? What the fuck? Close quarters combat for the win. Where are you? Oh my god, what? Oh, she looks so hot. Oh. Oh. That's how she's going to be looking when she's in that bubble bath later with all the phones turned off. She doesn't care about nobody else this playthrough. Like, F Barry, F Chris. Get the hell up out of here. The lab doesn't do up. Oh, shit. Tyrant's still alive. Oh my god, no trophy? Oh my goodness, what? What did I do? No one said anything in the comments like, hey, you accidentally shot, or I didn't do nothing. I didn't use a defense. I didn't pick up not one defensive item. Oh, maybe they'll give it to me on the um, results screen. Oh my god, this would be such bullshit. The whole point of this, let me skip this shit, hold on, fuck that. I wanna see if I get this damn trophy. Jill, you did a fine job. MOU 000. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! There it is. CQC for the win. Oh, racing and pacing. What? Oh, I beat it under five. Barely under five hours. Nice. We got, just got three trophies on this playthrough. All for you guys. Three trophies all for you. That's what I did it for. I didn't do it for me. I did it for you guys. So you guys could be here with me and see it. You know? That's what it's all about. It's a part of history now. It will forever, it will forever be on YouTube unless YouTube like, goes out of business or gets taken down or the video game developers say enough is enough and don't allow people to show video game footage ever again and they flag the shit out of this video, but... This video was up uh, forever. You guys got to see me get three trophies. For the first time, I've definitely beaten Resident Evil Remake in three hours and below that before. But never knife only. Never knife only. Never beaten an invisible enemy mode either. So that's, that'll be the next playthrough I do for Resident Evil Remake. Will be... Will be, uh... Might, I might do a speed order for it too. Hmm... Hmm. But when I do speed runs for these Resident Evil games, I know for Cold Veronica, I told you I wasn't gonna try to get the best possible time I could muster. I just wanted to get a good time, and I did. It was like two hours to beat it or something. Was it two or was it three? I think it was a little over two hours. Yeah. A little over two hours I beat that. If I remember correctly. Feel free to check that out if you want. Uh, Resident Evil... Co-Veronica speedrun.
the first and only play uh, speedrun of Resident Evil on my channel. But if I do a speedrun of any other Resident Evil game, one, two, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, like I'm gonna try to go for a world record. I probably won't be able to do it, but I'm gonna get pretty close to whatever the highest, the fastest time is. So I'm gonna really put in the work. So I'll definitely bring you, you guys will definitely get two more playthroughs of Resident Evil Remake. You'll get Invisible Enemy, and you'll definitely get Speedrun, and that might be it for this game. I've already done three playthroughs of it. I've killed 19 creatures, doesn't feel like it. Look at that, it's a cool shot of Jill, I love it. That might be my thumbnail for the final video, maybe not, we'll see. I love it. B-S-A-H-L. <sighs> beautiful. Oh! Beautiful. Joe has a new costume. You got a closet key. A new costume has been unlocked. You can change in the dressing room. Oh. Barry's custom samurai edge. Is it, I didn't know it was Barry's customized gun. It's really powerful. I love it. <laughs> Especially against living things. Well, there it is, guys. Let's play Resident Evil Remake HD Edition. Knife only. 199% unrehearsed is done and I uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the trophy while we're at it where's the trophy stuff at 68% I'm definitely gonna platinum this game so I'm assuming, uh, what was the one that we got? Every Woman for Herself. Where is that one at? There it is, Every Woman for Herself. Finish the game without saving anyone using Jill. So I'm assuming this one is finish the game without saving anyone as Chris. No problem. Finish the game in three hours. Racing and pace. Finish the game in five hours. And the big one right here. Finish the game using only your knife. We did it. We did it. And I thank you guys for tuning in with me with more Resident Evil there'll be more Resident Evil to come this channel is built off Resident Evil the G virus come on and uh thank you for watching thank you for liking and commenting and subscribing and I hope you guys check out my other Resident Evil playthroughs my other survival horror playthroughs and just pretty much any playthrough I do feel free to show some love to it and uh thanks for watching again this is the game virus also known as the G, -G, 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 G virus and this was let's play resident evil remake hd edition knife only unrehearsed thank you for watching later <laughs>